Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. And we have Lion number 16. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Let's pull you... An Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini for the week. We have number 29, stay the course. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you for the week in the cards. What do we have for our lovely Geminis? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week ahead. Week ahead for Gemini, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Gemini. Message for Gemini. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, that's two cards of victory straight <laughs> straight out of the, of the deck. I mean, both of these cards can indicate victory. We have the Page of Wands, Page of Cups, the Emperor, The star. We have the eight of pentacles. And we have the hanged man. Let's see what we have with the five of swords for you, Gemini. Five of Swords for Gemini, thank you. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles can be very good in terms of, I mean, there could well be a celebration here uh, because there is that sense of victory, triumph, success. Uh, it can be a hard one, victory here. Um, and there's, there's certainly been some kind of conflict, whether it's fierce competition in a scenario or whether it's been some kind of battle that's been fought with another or others. The Nine of Pentacles generally represents getting what you deserve. You've worked, again, the Eight of Pentacles, you've worked towards getting this and this is what you deserve. You've put all the time and energy into this and this is what you deserve. Uh, Nine of Pentacles can be to do with the sum of money, can be very good in terms of reaping the rewards of your labor, you know, reaping the fruits, you know, of what you've worked toward to achieve. So it can be very positive in terms of Yeah, it just feels that kind of energy. It's interesting. Um, the real clear message that's coming through to me, it feels like someone's business. 
it's almost kind of like um I mean, again, this could be, this feels very specific. I kind of give the general messages and then there's just a real kind of specific message coming through. I think it's, um, you weren't sure whether your business was going to uh, survive or uh, get back on track in some way. And I think that you've been waiting to... Um, Well, putting a lot of time and energy into claiming a success. Now, the success links with this emperor. Uh, it could well be, I mean, an emperor can be a partner, um, you know, a person in authority. Yes, they could be a business angel, uh, an investor, could well be somebody who, uh, who also is a client, you know, who might be bringing business your way, depending on the nature of your business. But it feels like this person is bringing in some kind of success for you. And it's almost kind of like there's the renewal of a new path. <laughs> but it's it's staying the course with your your current circumstances. I think that where I think that change has happened. Uh almost kind of like something significant in your own business here, Gemini, is what I'm getting. And you might have worried whether it was going to end or not. But I feel that this emperor is likely bringing something into you uh, if it could be business, work or something that allows you to have that sense of renewed optimism, having been really worried that it was going to end, the business was going to end. It feels like this this emperor is bringing in some kind of solution or opportunity or um, support or investment or, again, business in some way that is giving you that sense of renewed optimism in terms of a new path in your current business. You know, this is what I'm getting here because uh, the, the Page of Cups and the, um, the Eight of Pentacles, it can be a message from the heart to that, that you're gonna keep on putting your time and energy into something and keep on doing the work and keep on building, you know, back up. It could well be after some significant changes happened in your business. It could be a legal thing as well for some of you. If again, if partnerships split up and everything and you were worried that, you know, you weren't going to get, you were going to lose the business itself. I mean, this just feels that kind of energy here. You're finding some kind of solution. Again, the Page of Cups can also be, and the Page of Wands, these can be very uplifting and sometimes unexpected messages together. Um, and it feels like a, a new a new beginning here that you weren't sure was going to be possible on your current business. Because again, that hanged man is the energy. Yeah, I can I can wait and see now. I can wait and see how things play out. It means that you don't have to end something. I think that you were worried about an ending and there was almost kind of like this energy of, of doing whatever it takes to claim victory over the situation and clearly putting a lot of time and energy into absolutely staying the course and almost kind of like rising above a situation that you thought was going to bring some kind of significant ending. This is that sense of renewal. I think that there is some kind of positive or surprising message coming in where you're thinking yeah I don't have to do this I don't have to end it I can wait and see how things go now I don't have to end this is what I'm getting for you this week I mean it just feels quite a specific message but I get the you know it comes for a reason that's the message that I'm getting for you here Gemini this week I think that you were worried that something was going to end because change happened um and change can happen for a number of reasons, you know, in a business scenario. Uh, but the, the key thing is, this is you claim victory over the issue because you pretty much did whatever it took to, to overcome the issue and move on from it. And it's almost kind of like now you can wait and see how things go moving forward. You don't have to end something. It's what I'm getting here. Nine of Pentacles can be very good as an entrepreneur. Um, understanding that you have all the resources, the abilities, the know-how, the experience to manifest this as well. 
but it just takes you know it is whatever it takes it's a victory but it's whatever it takes to win because that's what the circumstances demand that's what i see coming to you it's lovely It doesn't mean that it isn't still going to be hard work moving forward, but I feel that you, you feel that you're kind of um, almost kind of like uh, escaping an ending, so to speak, turning a corner. That's what I'm seeing here. Two cards. We have light. Yes. <laughs> The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. This is what I'm seeing. You're seeing the light. Because you stay the course, you stay the course. You'll see the light here. We have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. An invitation. Oh, Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's almost like I've got a different dialogue going on in my mind, but never mind. We have get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Yeah, the, the message that I'm getting here is even though you might have been through some kind of difficult period, you're going to be better for it. Um, I keep on getting you're better for it. It was all worth it. You're better for it. Not just in terms of the, the effort that it's taken, but in terms of what you've learned along the way. And even if there have been mistakes along this way here, Gemini, I'm not saying that there are, but even if there were, which we all make from time to time, you know, you learn from them and you're wiser and stronger for it. You know, this is the whole energy that I'm seeing here. That's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.